get up before 11. When I had money, we all had money. From dealing drugs. It was a little pot, maybe some hash. There was cocaine. Well, that was much later, and I did it. I didn't sell it. Oh, wow. Okay, calm down. High Desert follows the life of Peggy, an addict who decides to make a new start and makes a life-changing decision to become a private investigator. How come a drug addict with a messy past end up being a private investigator? Can you guys tell us more about this story? What will the plot revolve around? Yeah, I mean, you know, Patricia plays this kind of like wild, free spirit, zany, crazy character uh, named Peggy, who is our older sister. And uh, she's continually, from since we were kids, put us in some um, pretty cr crazy situations. Uh, so you see that throughout the show in flashbacks at times. And present day, you know, she's trying out new jobs. She's trying to reinvent herself. And, um, you know, it was our roles to, to sort of ground her and try to bring her back to Earth, uh, which we, we consistently try to do, even though she is uh, constantly on her own adventure. Oh, wow. Okay, calm down. Good comes from bad, but I need that thing that I've always missed. I got some oxy. <laughs> No. And I think Peggy also having, you know, this addiction, you know, it, it's sort of synonymous with lying and yeah. hiding and secret keeping. And I think Peggy is a master at, you know, manipulating people. And, and, and that is, is really sort of her angle into this private investigator world is she almost manipulates the the boss into hiring her right, and, right. and, you know, sort of selling herself as somebody who's capable of doing this. And yet her skill set through, you know, through her addiction, um, it, it, it suits it perfectly. Right. So, um, you know, I keep saying it's like just because she's made some bad decisions doesn't make her a bad person. So maybe this skill set will serve her better <laughs> getting paid for exactly. it and having yeah. a job. Right. Yeah. I'm a private investigator now. You're just... But I have to hustle. I need a hustle. No, two. And Christine, you play Diane, and Kira Donnelly, you play to work. Can you guys describe the personality about your characters? I play the baby, baby of the family, the baby brother, and um, I think you know what comes with that is is this sort of uh, hey, don't forget about me kind of feeling. Um, but at the same time, he's he's looked at his older sisters, I think, for guidance, although he hasn't had much of a good role model from Peggy uh, specifically. So he's gone the counter opposite way, which has made him very sort of pragmatic, stuck in the mud, kind of the, on the straight and narrow. Um, and I think Diane is sort of like stuck in the middle, right? I mean, yeah, and I think Diane and, and, and Stuart really, you know, they had families of their own and mm -hmm. they I think probably stayed closer to yeah. each other because they their lives took similar you know paths whereas Peggy and, and our mother were were so close and now she's lost you know this this you know her 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 mom and our mother oh, but we're yeah. grieving yeah. it very differently I mean yeah. she's really feeling it and she's lost and and you know and of course we're coming in telling her how it all has to work, you know, on paper. And yet all she really wants is for us to reunite and bond. And so I think everything she does in the course of the series is really, you know, looking for our approval and looking to reconnect with us. So, you know, her intentions are good. It just, she just That's goes so, like, about sad, them. That's so sad, but sweet <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's sort of, I guess like family. Yeah, right? exactly. What? What are you looking at? Get out of here. 